Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. All right, I've been telling my wife that I was going to bike like all of last summer and I never got a bike. Then I asked David Hill to help me buy a bike and he sent me a whole bunch of emails with bikes and I never did anything with it. Now we're here with Erica who's going to talk about winter biking and maybe inspire me to get on a bike. There's a bike in my office. Yeah, and you know what, Jeremy? You are absolutely welcome to take this bike for a spin anytime. I am happy to let you try it out. I have to say, I absolutely love winter biking. I've been doing it for about five years, and I I was one of those people who was really skeptical because I get really nervous when I'm driving around bikers, especially on campus, and they're slip sliding all over the place. And my husband had been doing it for several years, and I was like, are you kidding me? (laughs) And so I took his bike for a spin, partly because I was worried about him. I wanted to see if his gear really worked the way he said it did. And it did. And that's how I got hooked. So you never know. So if you need inspiration, I'm here for you. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm going to winter bike. I, I got to get out in the summer yeah. first to decide if I really want to do it. But right. I think it's a really, it's a good exercise. Plus you get to go and see places, you know, uh, at a different perspective. You're outside. I mean, right. you can't combine that. And then, you know, you top it off in Fitchburg here. We've got the trails and we've got yep. so much fun trails that lead to places of exactly. interest. And, you know, you can't beat that. Okay. It does not get any better than Fitchburg, I'm telling you. So, <laughs> and even in the winter, I mean, don't go out the day after a snowstorm. Give the plow drivers a couple days. But they are clearing the bike paths in the winter so that they are usable if you want to bike to work or if you just want to go out for a ride. Like you said, it's a great workout. Um, In winter, it's a little bit uh, even more effort, I would say. Um, I've got the studded tires on my bike. A lot of people bike with fatter tires, mountain bikes, or the fat tire bikes, and even more resistance. So you're really getting a good workout. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about equipment. I wanted to also let people know that we are going to be doing a workshop with Fitchburg Cycles, uh, and we're going to talk all about, you know, riding strategies. I want to make sure to show this bike here. Yeah. I'm going to leave the screen. You keep going. Okay, absolutely. So um, you guys have another chance to join us in February to really learn more details about um, winter riding strategies and bike maintenance, getting your bike ready for the snow and cold. So, you know, I, this bike has been handed down in our family, and I think I'm the third person to have it. I'm all about using what you have. Absolutely. So, you know, no need to go out and buy something fancy. I think the crummier bike, the better for winter biking, because the salt and the sand and gravel and grit are, are pretty tough on your bike, as you can see. But there are a few things I really like about this bike for winter riding. First of all, it's got an internal gear hub right here to keep the, the grit um, off of the derailleur. Um, and it's got a chain um, cover there that's that's pretty handy too that helps keep the chain a little bit cleaner but the thing that i think is critical are the tires and as you can see jeremy honing in on those little studs they look tiny but they really keep you upright and again i was i was skeptical as anybody else that those little studs were gonna keep me upright on ice and snow i still get a little anxiety when i see ice but they work. I have never wiped out in my five years of winter biking, and they they really do keep you safe. And that's what it's all about is having a safe fun bike ride. So um, in addition to some of these features, um, always good to have a good light, Um, even during the daytime if you have a a clear flashing light front and rear, um, that's going to be really important. Um, Some other things um, that I wanted to point out about gear. I brought a whole bunch of fun stuff to show you. So I I mentioned, yeah, I mentioned that I am not about going out and buying new stuff. I'll show you one new thing that I bought for winter biking, but I am a skier. Unless you hibernate in Wisconsin winters, you probably have everything you need to go winter biking. Oh, absolutely. So I ski both cross country and downhill. um, And so I did have a lot of great stuff. So I'm going to show you some of the basics. And, you know, again, there is, I I think people think it's so freezing out there, but you are working really hard when you're on a bike. It's kind of like cross-country skiing, you know, where um, cross-country skiers wear pretty thin clothing. They're working really hard um, and sweating. So you need to really follow the layers. I was going to say the layers thing. This is where I think of like during deer hunting when I'm walking up up the trails and I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Yes. But you'd be surprised if you're outside for a long period of time and 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 you're walking around and you're doing stuff, you 
you don't really notice it that bad. Exactly. Certainly on the bike and, and the stuff you're going to show us here, you know, mm-hmm. you'll prevent being cold or, or getting frostbite or something. So. Exactly. So what do we got here? We got I a cool mean, jacket, I mean, there's right? so many choices, but I'm just going to show you again what I had laying around the house that I was using for other activities. When it's super cold out, I'm going to start with super cold because we've just had a cold snap. Um, I just This is my ski jacket, my downhill ski jacket, and my regular snow pants. I just, you know, I have not bought anything new. I forgot my boots. I'm sorry. But Unbelievable. <laughs> Here we go. I just have these pull-on Boggs boots that are waterproof, and they're great. My husband wears, and my daughter both have these insulated hiking boots that they like. They also, I mean, of course, you can go to any cycle shop and get really wonderful stuff made just for biking. But I don't typically have a lot of that stuff, except for my gloves. So I'm going to show you my lobster gloves. I love these things. Okay, so you guys have probably seen these. They're called the lobster gloves, <laughs> right? And They're so funny. I know they are funny. They're super warm, though. So this is what I would wear on a super cold day. And uh, they keep your fingertips warm, and they help you shift really easily. And that's the key, and that's why they're lobsters, so that you have a little bit more dexterity um, on your bike. Oh, man. And, you know, you can wear anything else, any other range on warmer days. Just a lightweight glove sometimes will just do the trick. So these are fun. You can also buy handlebar covers, and some people swear by those. And they're just these super warm, insulated um covers that go over your handlebars and then you can wear a lightweight glove and that people think it's easier to shift that way the lobsters are pretty user-friendly though i have to say um that doesn't drive you crazy keeping (laughs) keeping your fingers like spock what like right right. it it takes a little getting used to but you know after a couple of rides you won't even notice it all right yeah we'll talk about the helmets then okay let's talk about helmets we got a reuse helmet and we've got a regular helmet right (laughs) so um again we're on with cold weather days when it's super cold out, I will take my my ski helmet out. Um, and this is a downhill ski helmet that you can get just about anywhere. Jeremy's got uh, my bike helmet with a, just a um, water yeah. or a, a cover on it. Yeah, it's pretty it easy. It is to... waterproof. <laughs> but more importantly, it keeps the wind out. <laughs> yeah, Windproof. Absolutely. Right. So I might wear a little headband under my... Um, my bike helmet, right? There it is. Thank you. On on warmer Scummy days. Banna. Yep. And then on colder days, I'm going to reach for the ski helmet. Not critical. I think you can layer enough under there if you want to pick up the balaclava there. Um, and I, I think another thing that's critical is goggles. Um, and I have clear goggles. If you're a commuter and you're riding home at night, you're going to want the clear goggles. And I use these for night skiing, so I had them, which was really super convenient. And then I have, yeah, other goggles when it's sunny out as well. Um, can you hand me that face mask, Jeremy? Real so quick. So this we'll is the real one quick. thing. Real quick. Okay. Real quick. This is the one thing that I purchased that's so critical. No exposed skin when it's cold out, right? Because you're moving fast and it's windy, and this will not fog my goggles. <laughs> this is a... Uh, a great find for me, but there's so many choices for consumers. You can find uh, lots of stuff to make biking safe and comfortable and fun this winter. Well, there you go, Erica. We appreciate it. You, you ran all your time out that you could. We'll be right back. It's talking Fitchburg.